So students, we're up to the stage where we've got to be able to work out the set out of our balusters. Now, setting out balusters on a set of stairs requires the balusters to run vertically, but up the side of the stairs between the stringer and the handrail. But before we can do that, we need to think about how would we set out the balusters in a horizontal situation. For example, this situation. We have two newel posts, and we measure the gap between the newel posts at 1,040. And if we could set out balusters across that distance, we'll, in the later calculations, learn how to adjust that to the slope situation. So first, what I'm going to show you is a system that doesn't work, but which is the most common mistake people make when they're trying to set out balusters. Let's look at what we've got first. We've got an opening between the two newels of 1,040. We're told the balusters are 40 by 40. Now, the Building Code of Australia says that the maximum gap between two balusters is 125 millimetres. To make sure our, we have less than 125 millimetres, we're going to use 124 millimetres in our calculations. And the first thing we work out is the trial spacing or trial grouping. So to get the trial grouping, We have the maximum gap from the Building Code of Australia. As I said, we're using 124 mil. And we're going to add the 40 mil thickness for our baluster. That gives us 164 mil as our trial. Now we need to work out how many groupings we have in this space. So the groupings would equal the opening divided by the trial grouping. So that would be 1,040 divided by 164. When I do that, I get 6.341. Now, obviously I can't have part of a grouping. I have to have a full number. And for these calculations, we always have to round up. Even though that's closer to six, if I round it down to six, I'd have less groupings but that would cause the balusters to spread out further and I would exceed this 124 millimeter spacing. So we have to go up and that takes us to 7 groupings. So what would our grouping be? What we would try next is to divide the spacing by seven. Now this comes to 148.6. And I could, in this scenario, spread those out at that spacing and if it was correct, we would end up with an even space. But like I said, this one's not going to work, but we'll try it anyway. So, to put these through the calculator, the best calculator to use is the one on our iPhone. And to do it, you would key in 148.6, hit the plus button twice,
and then start to press the equals button. Every time you hit the equals button, it'll give you the next set out point, so you can set them out as a continuous run on your tape. The answers you would get to the nearest mill would be 149, which is that one to the nearest mill. Then you'd get 297, 446, 594, 743, 891, and 1004. So everything's looking okay at this stage. I'm going to set those out now at that spacing across this. Uh, this hand run. So I take a rule, I measure the first one in at 149, so to there. That includes the baluster, so I'd have to come back to 40 mil. I could put that one in. Next one, 294, sorry, 297. Again, that position includes the baluster, so I'd come back to 40 mil. I'll keep going. So we've either got to that position and something's looking wrong. This gap is clearly bigger than 124. We could put the next baluster in. But we don't want a baluster directly against the newel. Something's gone wrong. We need a different way to do the maths. Let's see what we should have done in the first place. 